have to... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Final Fantasy XIII 2. No, no, no. Otherwise known as Matomu Toriyama's Final Fantasy XIII fan fiction. Don't make me do this. I was down with I was down with 13. I am down with lightning returns. I am not down with this. If you want lightning returns, we have to do this. Come on, you know it. I know it, but I don't want to acknowledge it. <sighs> All right. So, uh, first and foremost, you might notice we are playing on the PC version. So does that mean we'll have a stable fucking frame rate? Oh, absolutely not. Um, my my rig is not that good, honestly. So uh, we are getting what I'm going to call the authentic that console experience. Time continued onward. Well, that's all right then. Also, what the what the fuck did Lightning just say? I don't remember that happening. It's okay. Nobody does. Because, uh, one of the first things you'll find out about 13-2 is that it retcons the shit out of 13. Like, the original ending might as well have not even happened. So all that shit about the power of friendship and the light of hope and accomplishing the impossible. Oh, oh yeah, no, that's, that's all gone. All of it. Well, oh, is that so bad? Life and death lose all meaning under the rolling waves of chaos. I don't know. I was I was gonna say this this seems like it can't be much worse, but the currents of time do not. We are already it. into some pretty deep bullshit here. So um, oh oh yeah, and here's this guy, uh, this uh, Kingdom Hearts reject. In this world of lost moments. Oh good. Well, don't worry, we'll we'll be getting to him soon enough. Right now we have right now we uh we at least get introduced to the best antagonist. Oh god, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Caius Ballad, and Caius Ballad is the only good thing about 132. That's probably because he is voiced by Liam O'Brien, who is one of those very rare brand of voice actors who can make any line, no matter how terrible, sound absolutely amazing. This eternity. It was never your desire. Is that not so? You see? <laughs> I could listen to him all day. Th was that cocoon falling? Also, what the shit? How did he? You know what? I don't even want to know. Like, <laughs> I get the feeling that this is going to be one of those games where the less we question, the better. Also, apparently, Lightning is now serving now Etro, and north. she is commanding all of these monsters. And she has a new getup, which is, of course, the most important thing here. Because, as we, as we all know, this is a very aesthetically focused product. And oh yeah, and uh, speaking of aesthetically focused, uh, how about Caius's soul edge there? Yeah. Seriously, I could just listen to him shit talk all day. Husk of the wandering comet. I summon thee. Um. Um. So, um, at this juncture, I'm gonna pause and ask. Can we go back to the part where someone was saying what the fuck was actually going on here? Like, did we, did we skip over that part? Um, Caius is trying to kill lightning? Question mark? Okay, yes, I got that, but... But, like... No, no, there's... So... Do you mean to say that we have no idea what go what's going on, but it sure is pretty? Did we just destroy a comet by parrying a sword blast up and destroying a summon sigil? Oh, that's very revengeance. 
which is actually something I'll be saying a lot more often about Lightning Returns than about this game. Oh yes, I just went there. Damn you. But I'm sure we'll get there in due course. Let's end this. Also, what? So, uh, by the way, uh, Caius can also become Bahamut. You know, just throwing that out there. Wait, what? Like... Okay. So did you like that cutscene? I guess? Alright, well that's nice, because now we're about to go to the in-engine graphics. Oh wow, we're stuttering already. A and the in-engine frame rate. Oh... boy. So yeah, remember our ongoing talk about how the one really good thing that Final Fantasy XIII had going for it was how stupidly well optimized it was? Yeah, this game is not. Yeah, this is a bit more of a budget production. We do have a spiffy new new UI though. I mean, look at all those cogs. And 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 we got we got a triangle and a circle. Is it, but even even the UI doesn't look as pretty. Like, if you watch like the uh, the stagger meter. Like, it's a solid orange now. Yeah. I, d I don't know. Like, yeah, I, like, bas basically I agree. I think 13, 13's UI had a lot going for it. Like, it, it was, it was very, it was kind of sort of minimalistic and elegant, and, but it worked. Whereas this is just, like, more graphics. Which is basically the most substantive thing that we can say right now, because despite all the graphics happening on screen, this fight is really a formality. Yeah, this is basically just an interactive cutscene. Although the although fundamentally the battle system is more or less unchanged. Yeah, I got I got I gotta give them credit though. If you're gonna have an interactive cutscene, this is a pretty good way to do it. I mean this is like the closest this game comes to classic Final Fantasy, where it uses the battle engine as a narrative device. The only real difference between this and the cutscene is that we can see all the little mechanics and bars filling up. But no, I think there's something to be said for that. It's not bad. We've also got this hella awesome music. Oh yeah, 13 2's soundtrack is very experimental. There are tracks that are terrible. Um, see most of the lyrical ones. Oh yeah, there is some bizarre bullshit in this game soundtrack. But this, but like the other half of the soundtrack just absolutely knocks it out of the park. It's pretty great. But yeah, even some, even some of the lyrical tracks are pretty great. Especially that one. Oh, quick QTE time! You're shitting me, right? Absolutely not. Like, I, I, I want to believe that they did this ironically. But I don't think I can believe that. Oh no, no, this was not done ironically. Oh, it was a loading screen. Do you think we didn't see that? We saw that. Thanks, Odin. You're a pal. You're a bro. Okay, bye. So, uh, this fight's still going on, then? Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Th that fight's gonna go on for this entire video. Right. His sword is silly. And he holds it in a reverse grip as well. That's just great. The one thing I will give the game is that it is at least kind enough to tell you that there is a QTE coming up. Well, that's more than some games do, I guess. Does anything particularly bad happen if you fail these? I don't think so. 
I mean, I I can't remember ever failing this. These people keep talking about the goddess. So again, I hesitate to ask, have we missed something? Oh, oh, right, the goddess! Um, do you remember that thing that was in the sky at the end of 13 but was never actually explained or even explicitly called Etro's Gate? Uh, no? Well, uh, as it turns out, Etro is the goddess. Oh, and she's dead, by the way. Hold on, this is a choice. It is. It doesn't really do anything. Okay. So you were saying. But yeah, no, so Etro is the goddess, and um, Etro is dead. And uh, Lightning, and Lightning is, is a warrior goddess who is protecting her legacy or something. The point is that Lightning serves Etro. So Etro is dead. Yes. Okay. This means a lot to me. We're done here. Say goodbye. Lightning isn't very good at classy one-liners, is she? Not really. I must thank you. There's this kind of ongoing complaint about Lightning's voice acting. In that even when she's trying to sound dramatic and emotional, she still just sounds kind of bland. Contrast Caius, who even when he's saying bland, emotionless things, just makes every single line sound awesome. There aren't many voice actors who can do that. All right, great. So that w that was a a thing. We we beat Caius. So we what? Okay. Oh. Etro's gate. This. So is Lightning herself now commenting on the nonsensical things that are happening? Of course. Apparently. Oh, and hey, where did you come from? From the vision, apparently. No, Christ. What? I'm sure this is all deeply meaningful, but they still haven't given us any idea of what's going on or why we should care. Oh, Odin can fly, by the way. We did mention that, right? Uh... Pass? I I don't know I, I don't I don't think we mentioned that. I think it's possible that it's a new detail that this game just made up, with no regard for conflict or consistency. But maybe that's just my cynicism regarding Final Fantasy XIII acting up again. What in the... Alright, so we're just gonna casually grab Noel out of the air here. Yeah. So he's he just went from about ten meters per second down to like ten meters per second up. So I could be I could be wrong on this, but my my napkin calculations say that that's a lot greater than the force needed to pull a human arm out of its socket. It's probably also enough to snap his neck, among other things. Yeah. Video games, man. But let's not be concerned with such silly things like that. Oh, to be fair, there are much stupider things in this game than physics. So yeah, now we fight Caius again. So this is another interactive cutscene. Man, I hope the real game is this awesome. I'm sorry, I can't I can't bring myself to laugh at that at that line. What now? Gonna get worse. That's a real vote of confidence, thanks, Lightning. So like, is it actually possible to lose this fight? I mean, 
I, it technically is. I mean, like, what, would it be some bullshit like you you just automatically get healed below a certain amount of health, or the fight ends, or maybe? Because I mean, in both parts of this fight, Lightning has a skill that will automatically give her like all of her HP back. Ah, oh, you mean this one? Yes. Um, she has one. She has Olir's shield in the first part of it, which does the same thing. So it's like the game, like automatically refills your health if it gets low enough. I don't know what happens if you actually just ignore it and stand there until you die. Yeah, I don't think it's ever really occurred to me to try and find out. It's like, I I don't I don't suppose there's any particular focus on choosing what things to use, or do we just mash also battle when it picks? Oh no, this one, no. I mean, you could if you really wanted to, I'm just mashing auto battle. I guess it's nice that it picks different things every time? It's trying. The auto battle system is, it's a little bit better than last time. It's really trying. Oh, I wish I could say the same about the frame rate. Yeah. See, as it turns as it turns out, um, 13's engine, while very good at making cutscenes and like linear pathways, is not very good at the whole open area thing. Or the whole, you know, rendering stuff. Or, you know, spaces, or models, or keeping a consistent frame rate. Basically, what we're saying is treasure these uh, CG cutscenes because they're the only place in the game you're going to get a stable frame rate. How do we? You say these CG cutscenes? Oh yeah, that's another battle. thing. Um, it this does pretty much everything. There's far less of them what? this time around. Bring my sister it does me. most of them in engine. So, uh, I mean, it's beyond beyond like the first one and like a couple things between, but well, basically this this prologue. We won't see any There's CG until the ending. Have told you how it works. That's a gate? But why me? Because you're the only one who can. Normally at this point in a game, this would be where somebody starts expositing. You can find Sarah. And together you can change the future. Wait, Wait. Sarah? Why, why, why are we bringing Sarah into this mess? We're not Jeez. playing as lightning? But... But she's like on the box and stuff. She like she's like on the box and all of the promotional materials and and they made this spiffy new outfit for her. And fuck me, I want to die. <laughs> what the fuck is that? A good luck charm. Give him to Sarah. So somebody decided in their infinite wisdom that they were going to turn this Koopo thing from like. A, an onomatopoeia to describe the sound that Moogles make into a goddamn verbal tick and give them an annoying high pitched voice actor. Caius? Oh, hey, Noel knows Caius. Apparently. That's. Oh, oh no, that's the, crystal, that's the giant crystal meteor again. Okay. I. I'm, I'm, I think I care. I, I care, right? It looked well. I mean, it looked really bad last time. Not this again. And I mean, Lightning's sick of it, so I mean. Odin! Do it. But like, what even is the point of any of this? Like, I, I know, I know, I know. We like to harp on about how little sense this makes, but it just, it just bears reminding that they're trying to like tell us a story that they want us to take seriously. And they give us nothing. Like, for all the flashy graphics that they showed us, we have nothing to go on. We don't know what the hell is going on, who any of these people are, where they are, why they're fighting, what's at stake, what the shit is going on in the prologue of this game. My hopes go with you, Noel Christ. So, uh, did you like Lightning, seeing her there? I guess. Good, because we're not going to see her again for another 40 hours. Be there for her. Because Welcome to I Final Fantasy XIII, ladies and gentlemen.